Hi guys, welcome back to another exciting walkthrough of Ghostbusters the Video Game Remastered. Hey! Uh, my name is Devin Dion, I'm the writer and editor of Channeling Spirits, along with Beautiful. I am Heidi Dion, and I am the voice of Channeling Spirits. Yeah, so to give a very brief recap, um, the rookie and Peter Bankman just destroyed a ballroom once again. Uh, so, I think you destroyed it. Look at your beautiful he's, artwork. Oh, it's so pretty. I like the like the you see the weird face. It's like, like a wink with a like, like a flat face. He's grin. slightly unamused. So, <laughs> um, so we, we we captured Slimer, and I needed to destroy this cake. Uh, all those watermelons look so good. Oh, the utter destruction in this game is so fun. So so much of the environment is just uh, you can do so much damage to. See, I don't get that. For me, I feel like I only destroy things if I get some type of reward. You know, in like Lego games, when you destroy stuff and you get coins, that's what I'm all about. That's great. But this, where you're just aimlessly <laughs> destroying, I just don't get it. Well, I think it's, it's. I mean, it's kind of like why the proton pack and like a, like, like a lightsaber is like fun. It's just this fantasy element of like, they're just such powerful weapons like you just have this blaster that you can take down a, a grand piano with just look at that that's that's awesome just oh oh poor thing so yeah i think I, I did a fairly good job you know we got we got one one tablecloth left and uh are you gonna destroy it i i think i have to at least long for that flower pot all right and wait i want to do a trick wanna... the flowers are still standing <laughs> I wish. Oh, there is another oh, one. No. no, that one had to. There can only be one. I should probably probably get back with Peter. I didn't like how the palm tree was looking at me. Yeah, get out of here. <laughs> okay, I'm good. Mm. Is that the manager of the hotel just <laughs> watching just, your destruction? Well, and then I just shoot him in the face. All right, <sighs> come on, Pete. Hurry up. I don't know what's taking you so long. Nice you Jeez. You All right. Spot. So we got to head back through Sedgwick. Got to got to catch up to the other boys. Oh, Pete, you can't go in there. Yeah, this is, like, again, we're like, they'll just block the way, you know. You can't do anything. Come on. All right. We got some more bellhop ghosts. Bellhoppers. Um, so they're they're a little annoying. And, and I'll be fully honest. I am playing this currently on, on the easiest difficulty, uh, which I think is... Casual. Um, it's so casual. Casual Friday. Um, so they're they're not too much of a threat as like most of the the game. If you're just looking for the story, definitely play through on on just a, a nice easy setting. Um, but it can get really challenging, and these guys will possess oh, ugh, rookie down. They'll possess you as you kind of saw there. Like they'll. That like, was a possession. No, they'll possess like items like that. Oh, like he just okay, became okay, okay. a chair and flew at me, which in real life, you know how painful that would be, like. Just flying chair in the face. So, um, yeah. If if you want to challenge, definitely play on professional. I think is, is the hardest setting, um, or whatever hardest setting. Uh, it, it it gets really challenging. I wonder what's in the soda machine. Uh, so fun fact: uh, you can see on the left in the original release, the it left? was like the the left vending machine. Oh, okay. Um. It was originally sponsored by Doritos. That's what I thought it was looked like it. And, yeah. Well, and the sponsorship didn't uh, continue with oh. the remaster. So it's like Krispies or something. Uh, something like that. But there's a couple times when, yeah, there were Dorito ads. Ugh, cool ranch all the way. I like nacho cheese. I know. Nacho. I like nacho, nacho face. All right. Oops. Look at this. Look at this utter chaos. Your jokes are awful. <laughs> Yeah, it's hey. crispy snacks. Oh. <laughs> Take that. I wanted wanted some crispy snacks and some oh, not cool the drinks. Dis, not the Dasani. Oh. Didn't want that. So, um, going back to a question I asked last week that okay. you did not answer okay. is if your house was haunted, would you get it exercised or as you put it, exterminated? Um I, I think it would depend on the ghost. Cause like they're with the most the ghosts with the most uh, there's like there's like not f I don't know if I'd call them friendly but like there's definitely stories of like <laughs> Casper Casper of like nice ghosts or ghosts that like get along with the homeowner mm -hmm. um and I mean, if it was like that I'm like yeah hey, you do you like you wanna you wanna hang around in this house I guess but if it was like 
A turd? Yeah, get out, get out of my house. This woman I work with, um, she's an older woman, and she told me that her house was haunted and that Ooh. her ghost like places things all over. And she talks <laughs> to this ghost and just like, like an annoyingly, yeah, like, yeah. Is it just like, hey, were you looking for your left shoe? Yeah. <laughs> no, for real. Like just places things in different places. That's a sentence. And um, her her kids like moved out eventually, and it's just, just her and her husband in this there. haunted house. And she's like, yeah, my house is haunted. I mean, like, again, like, that's not, like, terribly irksome. No. So I, don't, I don't think I'd, I'd do anything about that. But, like, you know, there's also, like, the stories about poltergeist and stuff. For sure. Well, apparently the guy um, killed himself in their house. Oh. He's yeah. the, the disorganizer? <laughs> they, didn't, they didn't know until they'd already moved in, and the neighbors were like, hey, so just so you know, just someone killed themselves in this house. FYI. Because I guess the realtor didn't have to disclose Take that. Across oh, there. Move. Not always Take the, the case. Lead. All right, so I, uh, I, I, we just saw Poppy Sargassi again, uh, and he took out the chair or stairs. So Egon has left me to fend for myself on my first day, with no training. I think we've all had a job like that. Um, so now I gotta, <laughs> gotta find old Pappy. Um, try and figure out where he is. So I guess my question to you is the same: Would you, would you uh, get it exterminated, exercise, whatever you wanna, however you wanna put it? Um, that's a good question. That's hard for me because you know I love all things supernatural and spooky. Um, however, I don't know if I'd want to know. I don't know. Probably not. I'm gonna say no. You, just like even if there was, like, I wouldn't want it to exterminate it. I would just move. I don't want to cause any harm to the the would, like, the, yeah, the ghost. I would just be like, it came out. I mean, we've lived in haunted apartments before. Yeah, but, like, an apartment's a lot easier to just move. Like, when you're paying a mortgage and you've, you've gone through this process of putting, you know, like, it's it's not that easy with the house to just get up and go. Yeah. It's my house. Yeah, I don't In know. the middle of the street. Come here. We're going to we're gonna make friends. Come along. Oh, no. Oh, so you can finally go up the stairs. Oh, hell. Oh, well, bye. You, just to get that, yeah. Then uh -oh. more stairs. <laughs> Jump. It's like uh, the... <laughs> And well, it's like um, the Winchester Mansion. Oh, the yeah. Stairs to nowhere. Stairs that you need. I don't know. Is it flooding? Is this Titanic? Like, what's happening? <laughs> so there's a, essentially like a cross-dimensional, not leak? rip, but yeah, like, <laughs> leak is a pretty good way to put it. It's a, uh, it's making it so essentially like the ghost world kind of spilled over. I, I you knew will. you were gonna say that. <laughs> Spidey sense. Uh, Peter Tingle. Peter. <laughs> my Peter. Dink. No, he says my. <laughs> My Peter Tingle. Or <laughs> no, what is Tingle? That's what tingle? <laughs> tingle. We're Peter Tingle. Yeah, we're. Uh, never mind. I, I was going to say. We're Peter talking about Spider Man. And, like Peter <laughs> Dingle, but you just started to make it weird. It was. Yeah, okay. Um, So, yes, this is, this is a little bit annoying because some of these levels are very maze like. Uh, so, trying to like track them down with PKE. Um, can be frustrating both for the player and, and I'm sure if you're watching this I, I definitely apologize and try and get around as best I can when I'm not, you know, getting distracted by destroying things. And causing chaos. Uh, there's something some little candelabra spirits, which is cool. They have that little will-o'-wisp when, when they get destroyed. Um, and they, they're going to appear a few more times. And so what's neat is the game really goes a lot into um, some of the classifications and goes to great detail of like making these bios. And I think uh, I might be wrong, but I think these are like class one or twos. Mm -hmm. So they're just kind of like simple. You can blast them. You don't need to trap them. So. Remind me of spiders. Yeah, they actually have some like little spider fiends uh, later hmm. in this in this hotel. But we'll get to that. We we do return to the Sedgwick again. Um, so we're trying, uh, we're on the third floor and some of the backstory is Pappy Sargassi was a restaurant owner and maybe chef. I might be wrong about that. Hmm. Um, but that's kind of where we're, we're trying to go and that's who this ghost is. So if you're not familiar with him, if you don't know him, like Slimer's pretty obviously famous one. Um, he was an original character that had some really cool concept art. Remember. Making the game and I... Gotcha. I'm a little bit, a little bit. So I'm trying to run around to to make this a little quicker. 
Um, this but, literally does though remind me when Rose is running around trying to find Jack in Titanic <laughs> when the boat's sinking because the water keeps coming up and there's stairs. You're just wandering around aimlessly. That's what I keep thinking. I then I I just wanna what's his name to be like I have a child. Oh. <laughs> what is Billy Zane? Yeah, yeah Billy Zane. Yeah. Shout out to Billy Zane if you're watching. I love you. I have a child. <laughs> Best rich excuse to try and save your own skin. Billy Zane, voice of uh, the the bad guy, Kingdom. The bad guy. Bad guy. What was his name? Ansem. But he's not Ansem because Ansem the Wise was different. Because Kingdom Hearts. Because Kingdom Hearts story. Shout out not to Kingdom Hearts. Oh, <laughs> I like Kingdom Hearts. I like the first one. The second one got the weird. The my third favorite. one. Oh, Roxas. Oh, Roxas. He's so hot. Uh, and I forget there is um oh it's not on this floor so if if the big fans remember there is um, a disturbance on the twelfth floor um, and there actually is a way to get up there later in the game not the thirteenth floor well they they kind of go into that that's oh, that's like okay. so like they're and I think this is actually true of a lot of ho or some like very regal like, hotels is some of them like literally hotels I sometimes it's older and i think but i think we've been to like modern ones so they they don't have a 13th floor yeah because people just, are superstitious which is stay there. silly because like you're fine it's the 14th but, but it's really the 13th like you you know numbers don't just cease to exist if you don't acknowledge them like it's it's still the 13th floor yeah also i'd be like all right let's do this but what just... what you stand on the 13th floor yeah oh so you do you have do you have a phobia? Because I, I I don't there's a term for like being afraid of thirteen. Um, what? Yeah, it's. I, it's I, I'll have thirteen to a phobia. Learn. Obviously, it's a little bit more technical <laughs> than that. But uh, we got a few more little candle. I'm trying to scan them. Um, oh, that one just not. So, like yeah, they you. they'll just kamikaze you. Like, all right, there I, I finally got a full scan. Um, and I am not doing well, even on, on easy, because, yeah. Um, but do you have, do you have a, a phobia? No. Arachnophobia? No. I'm not afraid of spiders. Egg, I don't think egg. I'm really afraid of every, anything except for, like, dying egg. alone. <laughs> Everybody's afraid of something. I don't know. I mean, I don't like being by myself. That's my fear. Yes, that is a thing, actually. I forget what it's called, but it's a fear of being by yourself. Like, I don't like being by myself for too long. I freak out. You know this. Like, I can handle, like, eight hours by myself, and then I start and then to freak out. you've done your shift of being alone? Yeah, I literally start to freak out. So, they're class two. Class two vermin candelabra crawlers. Do you have any phobia? No, like, I, and I'll be honest, I don't get some phobias. Like, I think, like, three of the big ones are, like, like people are afraid of spiders. Mm -hmm. And I like spiders. I know. I like some of them, like, Daddy Long Legs are a little weird and creepy, but oh, I'm I not. Oh, I like those the best. I'm not, like, weirded out by them, but, like, some people are. Come on, Sofa. Let's, I'm going to take you for a ride. Oh, that looks like a scene from Stranger uh, Things. Nope, 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 nope. No, I'm gonna way. need. Go no, way. I need my sofa. Why do you need? I would this not go backwards. This is how I will backwards. fight Papi Sargassi. That is the worst with idea. With a sofa. Come here. We're gonna do a furniture battle. Him versus me. Uh, and I like, like, I like snakes. Mm -hmm. uh, I like a lot I of reptiles. So I don't. But I, again, I guess I get that primal fear of like how they move is creepy. But the oh. one I straight up don't understand is. Um, Clowns. Like, why yeah. are people afraid of clowns? I don't know. Like, ridiculously afraid. Like, I've known people that, like, they can't see a clown That's... from a distance. Yeah. I don't mind clowns. I mean, I loved the circus growing up, so. Mm. The Cirque du Soleil. But, uh, yeah, like, Cirque du Soleil. Um, I like weird things. <laughs> cool. Like, they do, they do a really good job with the clowns that we've seen, so I don't, I don't know. All right, so this is Poppy? This is Poppy Saragasi. <laughs> Again, maybe restaurant owner or chef. I mean, definitely restaurant owner. It's named after him. If you saw the the sign that I was I was destroying, um, and the, the original boys have come. Winston is oh, currently away. They they get to. That. Oh, I was like, where's Winston? No, I. Th so the game is cool that they do. A, there's a a lot of times when like one will kind of by story step away. Mm -hmm. um, so you get like a chance to kind of be with either one Ghostbuster or three others. So you're 
very much feel like you're part of the team, and then at the end, all five are are going for the big baddie. Got you. Will you're destroying revealed. this bar. You are wasting all this alcohol. Uh, oh, and I, I made something mad. Um, Unknown this entity. Kitchen Gollum. It's a uh, level six. Oh, oh, He's, oh. Uh, this is a big boy, so you really gotta weaken some of these big brawlers up. Uh, and they do, you know, a nice job of trying to vary some of the enemies. So, like I said, you got the little guys that are just kind of you blast them quick. Um, you've got these kitchen golems, which you kind of weaken down and then rip off uh, sometimes parts of them using the capture stream. And then, as you get further in the game, not and this is too much of a spoiler, but you do get some weapon upgrades uh, and some uh, some new additions. New Leave Gordon alone. Who's Gordon? Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> that's what I, I named like, him. It's like Gordon Gecko. No, that's what I named him. Oh, rookie down. Oh, uh, Gordon we gotta, took you out. Gordy is going nope. down. Rip his face off. Oh. This is you're, you're an you're, idiot you're, sandwich. Oh, I was I was thinking the same thing. I, that's what I want to I want to take a proton stream and wrap it and yell at. Can we finish each other's sandwiches? <laughs> uh, so we've almost got Poppy. And put him in the box. Um, so he is the boss of this first level. Um, we'll have him contained. Um, and, and yeah, and then we'll complete Sedgwick, and everything will be fine if I can get it to activate. There we go. Come on. Leave. Go in your box. Go in your home. Was it go in your hole, ball? Happy Maxim. Oh, Did you funny. ever see that movie? Yeah, it's just oh. been a moment. So there we go as they blast All me the with the stream. Fish. Yay, kitchen golem. There do we do go. Do do do. Cool. Do 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 oh, do do. Yeah, kitchen golem. Oh, I mm -hmm. can upgrade maybe. No, not yet. What does that say? Nice. Slam dunk? Yeah, the slam dunk trapping is awesome when you upgrade that. It takes a little bit, but... Michael Jordan style? Uh, it's when you literally slam him in the trap automatically. Aha. Catches him. Anybody here from so, Adam all right. And suddenly there's some ominous footsteps right occurring. So I bet you was that girl. Else. What girl? The girl that's Gosh, been seen twice. No, no, like giant oh. shaking the streets oh, footsteps. It's a dinosaur. <laughs> 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 like, if that girl is making that sort of ruckus, good for her. Good for her. Uh, so they're they're on the radio with Winston, and Winston's, uh, you know, letting them know, hey, um, there's something big Winston, you, you probably should come out here and see. Who knows what it could be? But I mean, I'm guessing Stay Puffed. Yeah. This is not possible. Oh, okay. Not here, not I wanted it to be nice. <laughs> oh no. So we're gonna we're gonna take a, a break there, uh, and then uh, you know we will uh, we'll come back next week. We do uh, we are releasing these on Mondays, uh, so come back and see us next Monday. Big huge shout out. I neglected to do it last week, but uh, Eric Roland for helping really make this video possible. Thank you, Eric. Awesome. I want to just smash buildings just for you, big guy. Uh, and uh, we appreciate you guys. Also, come back Frightful Fridays for our regular videos, and we'll see you next time. Uh, my final question for our audience um, Have you ever been on a ghost tour? Leave us your ghost tour comments if you had a good time, bad time, all that jazz. Yay!